Hey everybody, it's Dave here from Dragon Hill Games and welcome to the first of two Mystery Booster Box local game store version openings. You can find a link to the other video if that's something you're interested in checking out right up here in the top right corner. All right, let's get right into it, see what we get in this box. I've been super excited for this set. I mean, this is a massive, massive, massive reprint set. So if you're not familiar with how many cards are actually in this set, I mean, there's 15 cards in every one of these boosters. And by the way, you only get uh, 24 boosters in a box. That's why the box looks quite a bit smaller than a normal booster box. So like I said, if you're not familiar with what's going on with this, there are 15 cards just like any regular booster pack. And each card or each card essentially has its own slot in the pack. So each, each uh, slot will draw from a pool of 121 cards, making for a possible 1,815 cards in the set. That is an absolutely astronomical number of cards that you could possibly get. I mean, there's some amazing things in here, right? Some of the big hits, of course, are things like a Mana Crypt and Selvala Heart of the Wild. However, there is some much needed reprints like Rhystic Study and Carpet of Flowers in here as well. Now, the local game store version, as opposed to the convention version, has a foil slot, which we'll be getting to. I'm sure that must be at the end. Now, in this foil slot is 121 cards that are exclusive to the local game store version. And some of the big hits you can possibly get in there are things like Send Triplets is like the big, big hit, of course. A foil Send Triplets would be really sweet. Um, Prey Caesar Dragon. Hmm. And Archetype of Endurance was our foil for this one. So yeah, like I said, uh, Send Triplets is obviously the big foil hit for sure. But there's really awesome stuff like the forever popular and much memed about a storm crow available in the foil slot as well. Next please, Ram, that's pretty sweet. So of course this set is meant as a draft set. It's supposed to be like a chaos draft experience. It's really cool that they actually kind of left the original um, set symbol there for you so you know which uh, set these actually came from. The only way to distinguish a mystery booster card from the original set is the small uh, sort of magic symbol down here in the corner. Yeah, like I was saying, this is meant to be drafted. It's supposed to be like a chaos draft set, right? I mean, we've got battle bond and stuff in here, right? So uh, meant to be supposed to be like a chaos draft set, you know, uh, what's in my pack, the whole mystery booster kind of thing, right? Um, mirrored in Crusader, so that's pretty sweet in the rare slot. And then a foil Eidolon of Rhetoric. Actually run this in my Xur deck, my Xur stacks deck, so pretty sweet to have that kind of for sure. Yeah, I mean, we'll be running drafts in our store all weekend, so really kind of looking forward to that. Seem to be coming Soul Mender up in the first slot quite a bit, eh? And not have him earlier. Maybe not. Maybe they just all kind of look the same. It's always been a white card in the first slot. All right, let's get back to this pack then. Path of Peace. So yeah, why don't you guys let me know in the comments section below. Are you planning on hitting up any mystery booster drafts this weekend? Should be a good time in the store for sure. I mean, we're going to be running drafts Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So really looking forward to uh, to that, too. I always love having a ton of people in the store. Uh, it just makes for good times, right? A couple of rares in this pack. So we had uh, Phyrexian Arena, which is a really nice hit. And then uh, Craig and Wick Cremator, originally printed in uh, Shadowmoor. So yeah, a couple of rares in this pack. Foil Bramblewood Paragon is pretty nice. Get some elves deck going on there. That's a recent reprint from the Modern Horizons, right? Ephemerate. So 
So, I mean, of course there's a lot of junk in this set, right? I mean, with a pool of 1,815 possible cards, I mean, there's definitely gonna be a ton of fodder, right? But should make for a pretty cool draft experience. Oh, nice, a soul ring. That's good. These have been going up lately. There's never enough of these things, right? Soul rings. Toxin sliver, that's also pretty sweet. Toxin sliver as the rare there. And the precursor going. Ooh, a foil undead war chief. That is pretty awesome. All right, that's nice. Really happy to get that. They even left the original sort of sweep, swooping star kind of thing on there. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I like the look of that. I gotta be honest, I'm gonna be surprised with a lot of the stuff that ends up in here, right? Like there's so many cards. I mean, I looked at the list, but geez, it's like impossible to kind of put into your mind the everything that you could possibly run into in here for sure. Oh, that's a nice one. Never enough of these things around, right? Priest of Titania, sweet. Fairy Conclave, Exsanguinate. Ooh, that's a really, really sharp looking Birds of Paradise. The color on these is really nice. Actually, the card quality is very good. I'll say that. And a Spell Tithe Enforcer in the foil slot. Okay, Spell Tithe Enforcer. Feldar Guardian, like that's not banned everywhere, right? So we definitely needed a reprint of that. Jeez. Price of Progress, that's pretty sweet. Nice and the uncommon slot there. Alchemist File. Carpet of Flowers, so that's good. So yeah, really sweet. Nice that uh, we got this for sure. It's like a $30 card, right? Pretty solid. And man, like uh, the color is so much nicer. Like the, uh, the old original Urza Saga uh, printings were pretty faded these days, right? Like I have a few copies of this in the store, original printing, and they're quite a bit faded, obviously, compared to, uh, you know, this fresh new printing now. You know, they are 20 years old at this point too, right? Ark of Arasica and then uh, Alchemist Refuge Foil. All right. Foil slot there. So yeah, since there's like um, 121 possible cards for each slot, that kind of means that, you know, getting any one particular card is, you know, almost like getting a mythic, right? Like, rarity kind of doesn't matter at that point. I mean, if, if Gruesome Fate is only available in this slot and it's 121 you know, possible cards that could be in this slot along with Gruesome Fate. That just means like the chance of actually getting this is, is like crazy low, right? If that's exactly what you're looking for. I mean, you don't open this stuff, I don't think, to, you know, to search for stuff, right? It really is kind of a draft set. I think it's exactly what it's supposed to be. Just provide that sort of chaotic experience. Temporal Mastery. So that's all right. Actually need some more of these in the store. I've been out of these for a little while. And a foil witchbane orb. All right, foil witchbane orb. Eyes in the skies, cast out. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Could use more of those in Pioneer for sure. It's gonna be one nice thing about this set, right? I mean, we're gonna have a bunch of new cards. Uh, well, not new cards, but a bunch of reprints uh, injected back into Pioneer. They gotta find ways to get some more cards, you know, reprinted into Pioneer. Such popular format, right? It's definitely the biggest format, at least right now, like constructed, like live paper, right? So the Gitrog monster, awesome. I think we're doing pretty good with this box, right? And a foil glittering wish. Man, a lot of the cards in the foil slot are rares. Wow, foil glittering wish. And a Gitrog monster, like that was a pretty good pack, right? Yeah. I'm happy with this so far. All right, eight, eight more here. Let's keep, her, keep the ball rolling. So yeah, like with San, 
be nice to get a bunch of these cards, uh, Apostle's Blessing, a bunch of these cards into uh, Pioneer. You know, we need, we need a lot more supply for Pioneer. It's crazy how hard it is to come across things like a braid and stuff, right? Like just cards that are getting used. So, um, and, and it shouldn't be that difficult to find on commons from a fairly recent set too, right? Like, I mean, Ammo Cat was only a couple of years ago, so, um, yeah. Ivera Hallison, a witness, and then a foil mine funeral. Man, these used to go for a fair chunk of change. Mine funeral. It's always fun playing mill in modern, yeah. I love mill decks. Gore swine. Yeah, so there seems to be a lot of good stuff that's going to work well in draft. Things like Prey Upon, they just make for good draft experience, right? Always need removal, especially uh, every color kind of needs removal, and it's always difficult for green. So it's good to see things like Prey Upon in there for sure. Asceticism. That's another one that was getting up there. you two rares in this pack. It's every pack, and Foil Mist Hollow Griffin. So, I mean, none of these are super huge. Asceticism's probably 8 or 10 bucks, or at least it was. Um, and the Mist Hollow Griffin is kind of a dud for a foil mythic, but uh, still a cool looking card, right? Isolation Zone. Seems to be a lot of cards on the Ammon Cap block. Even really recent stuff, eh? War of the Spark. Dark Blast. Hmm, that's cool. Good old Chupacabra. Dragon Scarred Bear. I love this picture. So cool. Dragon Scarred Bear. Suspicious Bookcase. Dragon Mask. Huh. Dragon Mask. The Mirari Conjecture. And then a Foil Aurelia's Fury. So another Foil Mythic. Wow. Gotta say, the Foil Slot... <clears throat> Excuse me. The Foil Slot... It's been pretty solid so far. I mean, no huge hits, but a bunch of foil rares and mythics. So that's really cool, for sure. It's definitely not like a regular box where you get, you know, maybe one foil rare or basically one foil rare, maybe two if you're super lucky. Oh, that's cool, Rancor's back. It's Master 25 version. <clears throat> it's interesting, some of the versions they pick, right? Like of all the versions, why, <clears throat> why are we reprinting the Masters 25 one. There's like five different printings of this card, right? Shardless Agent. Soren Markov. Well, wow, that's pretty good. These boxes are worth money, man. And a foil funeral charm. That is awesome. Steam Flogger Boss, sure. Um, wow. Soren Markov and a foil funeral charm. These boxes, like... This has been a good box. I'm excited to see the next box. Like if they're if they're all good like this, man, this is a good solid pickup for sure, like money-wise, right? Like good good return on your money. I'm impressed so far. I got I got to say, chart of course. Yeah, we need tons of these. And people always asking for that fine here. Shattering spree, that's another good one to have. Definitely. Definitely a good uh, reprint there, Shattering Spree. There's not enough of those around. I'm surprised at how much this card's worth these days. It's like two, three bucks for an uncommon from a fairly recent set. Basilisk Collar. Foil Maelstrom Nexus. Guys, this has been a wicked box. Like the foil slot in this box has been solid. Maelstrom Nexus, Funeral Charm, or Aurelius Fury. Like a bunch of mythics, right? Wow, I'm impressed. Undead War Chief. Like, that is a cool looking foil. For sure. This is a solid box. I'm really excited to get to the next one. Make sure you check that video out, guys, because, man, if this other box that I opened today is good like this one, holy cow. This is definitely a good investment for your money. For sure. It's nice to see this. You know, there's been a lot of kind of dead sets lately. Private Crafter's cool. Been a lot of kind of dead sets lately, right? So to have a set 
where, you know, people feel like people need to feel like, and, and for good reason. I mean, you need to feel like when you're opening a box that you're getting your money's worth, right? Sylvan scrying. Thopter foundry is another one that's, you know, getting harder to come by. So it's good to see some of those for sure. Umber mantle. So there's another, uh, you know, five, $6 uncommon, right? Revel in riches and a foil conspiracy. I am impressed. Huh? I am impressed. I gotta say, yeah, make sure you check out the other video. If it's anywhere near what, what I'm getting out of this box, boy, oh boy, run down to your local game store and get a few of these before they sell out. I got, I got to say like I was uh, allocated to, right? I got all that I was allocated for. So don't, don't get me wrong. Like there's definitely supply of this stuff out there. But the word I had from my supplier was, you know, you get what you asked for, what I pre-ordered. And they didn't really have, you know, much more beyond what people, what the stores had pre-ordered. Squirrel Wrangler. Squirrel Wrangler. Two-headed giant. And a foil Balefire Liege. That's some money too. That is definitely money. I think Balefire Liege was like seven, eight bucks on its own. So foil's got to be, you know, 10, 10, 15 bucks. So yeah, back to what my supplier was saying. I mean, I got what I asked for, so I was happy about that. But uh, but he did warn me, Dave, I don't think I can get you any more next week. So, you know, make sure you get through your drafts and everything you kind of had promised, right? So I'll be looking forward to see if, uh, you know, I can actually get some more. And if that next box I open is, uh, is anywhere near as good as what this box has been, Wirewood Lodge. Anywhere near oh, Goblin Pile Driver, another foil rare Your Tiller Nelephim card that never gets played anywhere. Um, but yeah, if that other box is like anywhere near as good as this one, man, oh man, I'm gonna be uh, trying to get my hands on a bunch more of this stuff for sure. All right, predict Fatal Push. All right, so that's cool. That's in that slot. Nice fatal push. Tower of Yons. Another card that probably never get played anywhere. Stunt double. And a foil fate spinner. Wow. Foil fate spinner. That's pretty cool. Okay. Like every card in the foil slot seems to be a rare pretty much. Am I wrong? Rare or mythic, is that what it is? No, there's is some uncommons, mine funeral. But like pretty and Bramble with Paragon, yeah, okay. So there are some definitely some uncommons. But I mean I have had a ton of rare or and mythics in that foil slot. So yeah, I'm I was kinda worried that they would kind of ch cheap out in that that uh you know the LGS slot. So I'm really that's wow. Like, do we need a reprint of this? I mean, I guess it helps make for a good draft experience, sure. But I mean, that's still in a set that's getting open today. Thrown about drain, right? Um, but yeah, I'm really quite impressed with the foil slot. Like I was saying, I thought they were gonna maybe, uh, abundant growth, thought they were gonna maybe cheap out, you know, a couple of good cards in there type of thing. And not, that's another Basilisk color, so that's weird, right? I mean, we definitely had uh, another Basilisk color not too far back, yeah, right, so. I mean, I don't know what the chances are of that, but I guess one in 121. Um, seems low, but things like that happen. Um, curiosity. Some really good reprints in here. I gotta say I'm impressed. Like I said, it's hard to wrap your head around all the different cards that are in here. I mean, I've looked at the list several times, but yeah, now that I'm actually Crystal Shard, that one's just recently shot up. It's like a five, six dollar uncommon now, right? It works with Thassa's, uh, yeah, return target creature to your, its owner's hand. So this works with um, Croxa, really good with Croxa, right? Ooh, a Salvella, Heart of the Wild. So that was definitely one of the big hits in, the, in that slot, for sure. One of the better, I think the second best mythic, right? I mean, it's only Mana Crypt. I think that's actually going for more than that. And a foil patron of the moon. Wow, I'm really happy about that Salvala. Sweet. Lab man and uncommon again. It's the ultimate masters reprint.
Draco. Huh, this is an old dragon. 16. Look at the mana cost on this thing, right? What the hell does this thing do? 16. Draco costs two less to play for each basic land type among lands you control. So you're playing some five color deck. I guess he would cost six. He's a flying 9 9. At the beginning of your upkeep, sacrifice Draco unless you pay 10. This cost is reduced by two for each land type among lands you control. So pay zero if you've got all five land. Uh, reduced by two for each basic land type among lands you control. Yeah. It's terrible. This is a terrible card, isn't it? Seems terrible. I mean, sure, it's used in some decks or something weird. Commander, Goblin Pile Driver, and then a Changeling Hero. A few packs left to go here. All right, let's see what we get. War Behemoth. Homunglius. Go ship. Gifted Aetherborn. That's another one that's kind of low in supply, right? So it's nice to see some more of those. There's been some Pioneer decks recently with Gifted Aetherborn's Vampire deck. Aether Hub. It's another good one. Uncommon slot. Dragon. Ooh. It's a good pack. Wow. All right. So Dragon Broodmother. It's a nice card for sure. Sliver Hive Lord is like maybe the third most expensive, fourth most expensive card in this set. Really sweet. This has been a phenomenal box. Wow, and another Aurelius Fury, which I'm sure I had one of those already too. I did. So that's two Aurelius Fury. Very bizarre. Very bizarre. Also cool. Very cool and very bizarre. All right. Just two more packs to go after this one. It's been an exciting box. I'm having fun here. Definitely. Shambling Attendance. Like eight mana cost. Wow. Tectonic Rift Anger. It's a good one. Phenomenal cards getting reprinted in here, man. A lot of stuff we needed, right? Mirror Retriever, Hypnotic Spectre. Alchemist's Archive, or Alahamaret's Archive. Good, awesome. It's like 10, $15 card, sweet. This has been a fantastic box. Game Trail Changeling, foil. Core Firewalker. Fading into Zealous Persecution. Millstone, because we need more of those. Susang, that's a nice reprint. This card uh, definitely was in low supply, so that's really sweet. All is Dust. And a second Yortiller Nephilim. Nephilim. Terrible. All right. Yeah, we definitely had two of those as well. I'm shocked at how many uh, duplicates I'm getting. I have to be honest, because from what I understand... Like, there's basically a 1 in 121 chance of getting the same card. So, a snap. That's cool. Um, so, to have, you know, multiples of the same foil and actually uh, the same rare as well seems uh, a little bit odd to me. All right, Chancellor of the Annex. Queen Marchesa. Another nice hit there, for sure. This has been an absolutely fantastic box like monetary wise right spike feeder foil so that's cool i'm not even sure if this was ever was time spiral foil foil or time shifted i think there was yeah anyway still cool card part of a combo piece right spike feeders so all right i really hope you guys enjoyed this box man that was fantastic eh bunch of awesome foils didn't get any super, super huge uh, foil hits. I mean, Conspiracy, Maelstrom, Nexus, really nice. I really like this Funeral Charm. A couple of Aurelius Furies. Um, but definitely some big cards in that rare and uncommon slot, right? Queen Marchesa, Al Alhamrat's Archive, Sliver Hive Lord. Wow, Savala, Heart of the Wilds. So, no Mana Crypt, but man, this box was Soren Markov. This box was absolutely fantastic, right? Just a fantastic, fantastic, phenomenal box. I got a bunch of stuff. So Carpet of Flowers was in there too. So anyway, really hope you guys enjoyed watching uh, the video. Make sure you check out the other box opening. We'll see if I do just as well in that box. All right, if you're not already a subscriber, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button. We post at least two videos every week. Okay, bye for now.